Hello, everyone. It's Hello. me, Victoria. And it's me, Carlos Luna. And we are here with Learning Roll 20. And today we're yeah. looking at tokens and handouts. Tokens, handouts. This is a uh, laid back stream that we do on Twitch uh, to discuss uh, one Roll 20 topic and answer questions that you might have in the chat. Uh, if this is the future and you are watching this on YouTube right now, uh, this is not a concise tutorial on how to do things. This is a Twitch stream. So we're going to be answering questions uh, from the chat and we will be discussing one of our topics. Um, there are a bunch of educational videos on YouTube. Uh, this is a hour long. Uh, so uh, I don't know if you want to be strapped in right now to watch an hour, but uh, we're going to be laid back and talking. Yes. Yes, we are. <laughs> we're t we talk a lot. It's something we're good at. <laughs> Very good at it, yeah. I, uh, I make that announcement because uh, I, I broke that cardinal sin. Um, everyone knows what that cardinal sin is. Uh, mm -hmm. Never read the comments. Mm -hmm. uh, so I, I did that, and I read the comments, and people were like, I don't understand. Like, how come this isn't, why does it have to be an hour? I'm like, well, it's, it's not specifically for YouTube. This is for Twitch yep. uh, that we're doing it for. Yeah, um, I... I... I broke the card the rule, um, but not not willingly. Uh, my brother just started randomly reading them out to me, and I was like, "Andrew, stop oh. this!" Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to hear. <laughs> yeah, I mean, sometimes people definitely have like you. You, uh, you ever meet like a kid who just like cuts to the core of you? It says like one sentence, and it just like cuts right through mm -hmm. you. Yeah, sometimes people have that type of insight, but uh, yeah. Yeah. I don't know. All right. So, uh, yeah, we are uh, going to be, yeah, Jack's Not Funny put in the chat, mm -hmm. uh, put questions, uh, put question before your question, all in caps, uh, so we know and we can try to help you with any issues that you might have or, yeah, things that you're curious about. All right. Let's launch this game because this is how, once you've created a game, you know, just reminding you in case you didn't know, once you've created your game, you launch it. Launch yeah. it into the sky. And today we're working on handouts and tokens. Yes. Um, and one thing that I want to bring out before we even get into it is if you're in the chat right now, uh, I see that there's a bunch of you in the chat right now, and, you're, and you use Roll20, I'm really curious on how you like to set up your game. Because I know mm -hmm. like different people, like I, I'm very curious on like how involved or how specific you are with your tokens and your handouts, or if it's like, like some people have like, they always have to have artwork, right? Or some people are like, I always have to have my backstory in there. Or some people are just like, I just put a name in and it's zombie number three. <laughs> and, you know what I mean? like, and then I'm done. Uh, so if people in the chat have hacks or just like their process or procedure and how they do things, I'd love to hear it too. We'd love to uh, discuss that with you. Mm -hmm. I mean, for my home games, I'll be honest. I just draw stick figures and things. Do you really? Yeah. You do not seem like that person. I do. I would, I put I would never guess that. all of my time into making playlists. I will spend hours searching for music and creating atmosphere. Um, can, I, can I just say I'm completely blown away? Because, like, speaking with you and talking to you, every, like, every time I've talked to you, like, I would think that you were a meticulous, like, storyteller and visualizer, and I would never guess... It would be music playlists. Yeah, it's that, music playlists. Like, you... Um, well, huh. I studied in I studied classical voice for started at the age of ten. Mm. My mom is a piano and voice teacher, and organist, and choir director. Um, so yeah, music. I'm married wow. to a musician. Yeah. You run a podcast. I guess you do a lot with audio. Yeah. I guess I should have. Yeah. I guess I should have put two and two together. Yeah. That's really interesting. Uh, David from the chat says, it depends on my player. Uh, some are really invested in including their artwork for players. Uh, they send me token art and I tend to use token stamps for that purpose. Otherwise, I just find the raised class token uh, most related to the character and use it. Uh, but very rarely do players include bios. Yeah, I'm kind of the same way, actually. Uh, I, I wanna be one of those, like you, you ever see someone with a binder? You ever see binder people like people that like meticulous bind? You're a binder person too. I see, that's what I that's what I would assume. Yeah, uh, and, and like people that can like even better is the upgrade person who can take the binder and then put it online too. Uh, I yeah, you know, I don't do 
for that. More power to you. I I I like doing all this stuff on the seat of my like. I do it very quickly. I'm like, da, 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 da. it's kind of working like this. <laughs> because don't you, I mean, I guess we could get into it, but later I want to talk about, do uh, you ever feel bad when you set up stuff uh, that never gets used, right? Like, I want to talk about that. How can we minimize that feeling? I just don't okay. set up stuff. <laughs> that's, that's... Spoiler alert. <laughs> I just improvise. Yeah. <laughs> okay, let's go to tokens and handouts, and let's talk about the process, uh, and let's talk about how we how we can improvise that. Mm. We can be meticulous if we want, or we can improvise it. Right. We so we do have Quizzle here, which we did quickly last week. So let's let's pretend this elf wizard here is our thing. So you can click on it. So this is the token. Say this is the character. Um, yeah. And you want to tie this to the character sheet. Okay. You can click it or you can double click it either way. So that was either a click and then go to the cog or it's a double click. Either one works. So yeah, to go to the settings, to go to yes, the, the edit okay. token yeah. settings. Yeah. And, and a lot of people get confused sometimes um, because... I think they assume that if I do if they double click it, they'll get the character sheet, um, mm. which I understand that frustration. Like I, I think that as well. Um, but you can get to the character sheet a different way. Yes. Um, but right now we're just working on settings. Yeah, we're just working on our token settings. So, just as it says here in the little info thing, you can choose to have the token represent a character from your journal. So remember, last week we created a, or two weeks ago we created a character um, and put within our journal, that's Quizzle. Um, if you do, the token's name, controlling players, and bar values will be based on the character. So that is all of these values here. So we can gotcha. set them to what we want. As you can see here, you can set it for hit points, armor class, and then this isn't set for anything, but you can set it for whatever you want. And these are tied to the character sheet? These are tied to the character sheet once you connect it. When, once they're connected. Yeah. yeah. So represents character. So who do we want this to represent? Well, we want it to represent Quizzle, our character, because Quizzle is the character sheet that we have in our journal. OK. So now, and do we want to show the nameplate? Yeah, we want it to show the nameplate when it's on the screen because that way everyone can see it. Now, maybe for like Orc 1, Orc 2, Orc 3. Exactly. You don't, when you don't know the name. To. Yeah. And I and that's that's another conversation. Uh, actually, you know, uh, 20 Sided Dave says, I'm not super organized most of the time, but I turn into Leslie Nope when I run a campaign. <laughs> yep, that's about right. Uh, David actually says he usually sets bar 3 to passive perception, which is really good. That is a handy um, one. That's that's a very handy one to have. Um, I I'm with you though on the orc thing, like uh, on the on the name thing. Um, not everyone actually needs a nameplate. So, like I I usually reveal it if they actually talk to them. Uh, but you know that debate of like, do you need orc number one, elf number two? <laughs> like, do you need that nameplate? I feel like that detracts a little bit. Yeah, so then you don't I need usually, it. Yeah, usually I take that off. Yeah, for. Um, a, a character or maybe a major NPC. Yeah. You can leave those in. Um, and then, yeah. So then now it's connected. We just save those changes. So now if I were to open the character sheet and, oh, I want core. And I wanted to change my hit points. Let's say I took some damage and now I have 10 hit points. If we look here, that didn't work. <laughs> no, no, it did. Can you it see didn't? it? It didn't work. Oh, it didn't work. Okay. Well, it just says they have eight hit points. Hmm. Huh. And they had 14 to begin with, not eight. Uh, go back, go back to the token set. You can just leave that open. Just 
Sorry, I'm on a delay. Yes, no, I'm, I understand. I <laughs> we are have Quizzle. Quizzle. Should have worked. You have them set to none. Right. But that's weird should... because they were set to stuff, though. It was. Did you hit save? I don't think you hit save when you I closed. did. I pressed save changes. Oh. So we have AC and hit points. Hmm. That was weird how that happened. Yeah, I don't know. Where's HP? There we go. So save changes. I pressed save changes this time. Now where we go? That was odd. That okay, happens. Let's try it. So I took some damage. I changed it on my sheet. And there we go. See, now HP has been changed to 10. <laughs> it's in blue. I like, how you're like, but... I like how you're like, and there it goes. And I'm like literally watching the Twitch stream right now, waiting for it to show up on my screen. <laughs> 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 like I'm listening to you. I'm like, oh, yeah, there it is. Oh, I just got it right now. Oh, uh, it's so funny. Um, yeah, I mean, it's really that easy, right? Like, it's as easy as just, like, updating it and seeing those bars, mm -hmm. uh, like, in chat and being able to change those. And because... But what else do we got? Yeah. Well, because they're connected, too, you can always change it here as well. And that will... That's where I usually do. That's what I usually change do. Change it on my, your character my, sheet. My, yeah. Do you usually uh, change your HP and, like, AC, any of that stuff on your token, or do you do it from your character sheet? For me, I think it depends on if my character sheet is open or not. Gotcha. Whichever is easy access. Oh, yeah. and did y'all know this? Look at this double click action. You don't have to close it out. You just yeah, double click the top super... of your sheet and it minimizes it. There's a nice translucence to it. Yeah. That's Little super important. Treat. Especially if you're a player, like th this stream is for new players. So like if you're a new player and you want to see the board real quick, you don't always have to keep closing your character sheet and then real going back to the journal tab to reopen or holding down, um, you know, buttons to like open it up, um, shift double click to see your character sheet. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, uh, that's the other thing too. shift double click shift double. If you hold down the shift button and you double click on a token, You'll get your character sheet. Which um, I did, but it, I had it there. So here, I'll close it. Shift, yeah. double click. There we go, character sheet. Fantastic. Like, that's one that, like, everyone should know, and you should definitely learn. And, uh, like, it, it comes in super handy. Mm -hmm. So it, it prevents you, like, you know. I sat there for a while, like, double clicking, and, like, I don't understand what happened to my character sheet. I know it's here somewhere. <laughs> you know I, mean? I know. Like, and then you, like, find yourself, you're on, like, the journal page, and then you're missing everyone's roles because you're not yeah. in the chat um, window. That has happened yep. to me before, before I learned about shift double. <laughs> okay. For sure. Any questions? Okay. David Bastionson says, you may want to bring the token down further. So we can see the bubbles on top. I think you can see the bubbles. Which bubbles are you talking about? Because it looks like. Mm -hmm. You could clarify it. that. Yeah. It might have moved. I think you moved that 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 was from a while. That comment was from a couple of minutes ago. Okay. Um, but yeah. All right. Well, then we get into advanced. Dun dun dun. Yeah, the advanced stuff. Yeah. So like, I'm not superstar advanced let's <laughs> say i'm not superstar advanced okay maybe i represent someone who is not superstar advanced. okay uh what's the cool stuff here okay so the, the, let's look at like the basic advanced stuff um uh, we're, we're not gonna get into because this is for newer people so what this will do is for player permissions do you want all the players to be able to like edit their tokens yes you do because you want them to be able to like add in their their hit points and whatnot so you, you want them to be able to edit it and that's the default is to let them and then yeah. do you want other players to see their health bars because you can see here there's the health bar right now quizzle has 12 out of 14 health points so do you want the other players their fellow players to see them yeah 
you do, that'd be nice for them to see yeah. where their friends are at. So you just click, yeah, I want them to see that information. Um, you can select where the bar location is. Do you want it at the top? Do you want it below? All those sorts of things. The top is fine for us. So we'll leave that. Um, and then auras. So let's say you have a paladin and you have a certain aura on. Do you want people to see it? Yeah, that's cool. Some people don't like yeah. it because they don't like the extra ring around the character. The um, but some people do. And I think it's kind of cool. I think those things are fun. So then you would say, yeah, let's see those. Now, do you want them to emit light? Um, so if they're like, when this starts getting into dynamic lighting, uh, which we will be doing a whole thing on dynamic lighting. Yeah. So we're not really going to be getting into that today. Um, and th yeah, this is more, this is more the legacy stuff too. Yes. Like on this page. Yeah. So this is the sort of, this is where you would say how much light do they ad emit if they're, let's say they're holding a torch and they're Yeah. Cause this token, this token could be anything, yeah. right? This token could be a torch. Yeah. Like it doesn't necessarily have to be a person. Mm -hmm. um, this and could that's be another a fire. Thing that, exactly. And like some people, uh, if you're a new player, if you're new to Roll20, um, you might not know, you might just assume that all tokens are players and have character sheets. Uh, but if you think about it, like anything can be a token. Like anything on, on the virtual tabletop can be a token it will have these settings. Like every piece of artwork can be kind of set up like this. Um, so, and that's the versatility of the system because mm -hmm. it's system agnostic. Um, particularly in D&D, we use it this way. You know, mm -hmm. these are some of the best practices in Dungeons and Dragons. Stuff. Yes. Um, oh, I see David Bastionson saying a cool hack I found is to make the health bar compact so they don't know the health... Um, hit point number, but they know HP their buddy number. is damaged and needs healing. That's good. And yeah, that is good. If you want to have like a bit more immersive game with less meta gaming, I guess um, that'd be fun. Yeah. Some. I don't know how how everyone plays it. I, I know there's some people that like don't like that type of crosstalk, or right. like, oh, I need three more, I need five more, or something like that. I don't usually play that way, but I'm fine if people want to play that way. Mm -hmm. uh, I usually try to say like, <laughs> when when someone tries to do that type of, you know, meta game with me, I'm like, uh, I'm hurt real bad. <laughs> like, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I don't, sometimes I don't know what to say. You don't want to be like that jerk or whatever mm -hmm. if they're used to playing that way but sometimes i don't know yeah i uh, i like to play immersively to myself yeah. i like being immersed in in the story and in the situation okay so yeah so i just clicked it on compact just so that people can see what that looks like so you see how these have the bigger bar over top with the numbers this one is much smaller for quizzle gotcha, gotcha. And then if I oh, put it back to standard, we can show you what bottom overlapping looks like. There we go. It takes up less space. Yeah. Now it's all be like one a grid. More, more clean. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. So that is tokens. Yeah. Um, Fading at the edges says, will you guys talk about initiative tracker today? Ours keeps uh, being messed up, and we don't know how to troubleshoot it. Um, uh, we'll see if we have time at the end uh, mm -hmm. to talk about it. I know we wanted to get through handouts, uh, token stuff, uh, get more into the settings, even the game settings uh, for it, because I know there's a lot of like default stuff that we can put in there. Mm -hmm. um, but we'll, we might have time to play around with the initiative tracker. That'd be pretty cool. I love the initiative tracker. A lot of people, and a lot of people, I, I'm getting into the initiative track. See how you suck me in? I see how, <laughs> fading at the edge is just like, oh, hey, would you guys, and like, I just start talking about it right away. Because um, that's one of those things that like, I didn't know right away, like how to use, or if I was even using it correctly. Um, and it's one of those things that like, e either one, your DM really has to know how it works and stuff. Not really, but like knows how it works. Uh, or the other players too. It definitely helps when the other players know how it works. Um, anyways, let's get back to what we're talking yeah, about. Yeah, Juliet Hotel, you, you, I know we just went over this, but you missed it. Um, if you go into the basic edits, so just double click on the token um, for nameplate, you just click 
nameplates. Toggle it on and off. That's it. Carlos's volume is a little low. How about that? Is that better? Oh, that yeah. Louder? That a little bit louder? Just made it louder. <laughs> I had it lower in my mixer, I think. Is that too loud? Let me know. Um, I've got you a bit lower on the audio mixer, so you're fine. You're staying okay. in the green. Just push Ooh. in the yellow, you're good. That's, that's my life, <laughs> pushing the yellow. Uh, staying in the green, pushing the yellow. I want that in my movie trailer. <laughs> One man dared to push the green. <laughs> to the yellow. To the yellow. Uh, yeah. Cool. Thank you for that heads up on that audio. That's great. Um, yeah. So what else we got? What else we got? Okay. So now we are getting into handouts. 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 Yes. I'm just closing all um, of these. So essentially, these are kind of handouts. So um, can you move your screen just a little bit so we can see the plus? Um, you might have to do it in OBS. Yep. Uh, so we can see like the plus thing on the right hand side. Um, the add you know what I'm talking about? button? Yeah, the add. It's not showing up in the overlay. Oh, there we go. Fix. Cool. Uh, yeah, so, um, yeah, add handouts, characters, and folders. Like, these are the, mm -hmm. you know, bread and butter of your campaign. If you think of the journal tab just like a journal, just like a binder, uh, these are the different sections that you can have. Mm -hmm. So, you can create your own, which you do by pressing add. And you have your choices of character, handout, folder. So, we're talking about handouts. So, we click the handout. Now, Mysterious Note is the first. It's just auto-populated. But you can make this whatever you want. So what do we want to make this, Carlos? Uh, the handout? Yeah. Um, I like, you know, hmm, name. The name of the handout well, it should be something about Twitch. Because uh, we're in a, 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 a myth... <laughs> A fantasy realm called Twitch right now. All right. Uh, and our players need to know about it. Let's say something like that. Okay. Twitch land. Yeah. Twitch, Twitch land. Twitch land. All right. So now we want it. Who do we want to edit it? Well, generally for a handout, you want the DM to edit it. So mm -hmm. that would be me. So I'll put that. And then we want it in Carlos Crits as a player's yeah. journal. So there we yeah. go. So now if we had more players you and you wanted it in all of theirs, you would select theirs. So if you only wanted it in specific people's, you would um, you would just put their names in. And that's it. So you could cool, cool. drop a file into here. So let's say you created a beautiful map of Twitch land. Um, you could do that um, and drop that in there so everyone can see it. And then you can type in all sorts of things about Twitch land. Style. So we want a header of Twitch land. What is Twitch land's favorite food, Carlos? Oh God! Uh, what would it have to be? It, it's probably um, God. What do what do I eat when I when I'm on Twitch? Um, what's like my go to? Mm -hmm. oh, you know, I've been drinking a lot of. I don't even know if this is a thing people drink. Uh, I've been drinking a lot of yerba mate. You even know what that? <laughs> yes, have you ever I had do. That before? It tastes Dude. like dirt. <laughs> It. oh my god it's so oh my, i get the weirdest stares like when i go to the grocery store because i because like i don't i try not to go to the grocery store so like mm -hmm. i'll go you know every once in a while and i'll just fill my cart up with it because i have to drink like two a day uh you think it tastes like dirt yeah. does it really well i mean i've had only ever is it y-e-r-b-e-m-a-t-e yeah b-a it's like yerba matt <laughs> yerba matt right okay yeah. um 
Oh no, I used to work in a coffee shop and we would make yerba mate uh, lattes. Okay. And I, it's not for well, me. We use the loose like, stuff. No, I this is like, it. no, this, this stuff is like, it, it comes in a can. It tastes like an Arnold Palmer. Oh, like, okay. It's like, yeah, no. Yeah. No, it like this... tastes like berry juice. <laughs> okay. Yeah, no, this is, this was like the plant. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, then no, 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 no. would brew it and make these, uh, people love them, but they weren't for me. No, this is like an Arizona iced tea, basically. <laughs> <laughs> like I'm only, tr- and I, and I, and I need to say this out loud because I know I'm only tricking myself that it's like good for me. You know what I mean? Like it's good for me. Uh, yeah, no, uh, it's definitely not. So yeah, I, I drink some of that and I, uh, drink some Doritos, uh, spicy nacho Doritos, obviously, uh, which is the best Dorito. Um, yeah. All right. Twitchland loves their, oh, Grammarly is telling me that, that I need to pluralize that. Loves their cuisine. Yerba mate is their drink of choice and you'll find it paired often with fiery nacho chips. Heck yeah. So this. I like this mythology. (laughs) This is (laughs) extremely important um information that you want your what just happened i think i hit the back button by mistake y'all on my mouse sorry control z i live off control z i live off like those keyboard shortcuts so much so that like when i write things on paper i my my brain instantly wants to hit those buttons to like undo paper <laughs> like it can't it won't happen it can't happen but i think about that all the time uh, it erased oh really yeah i will quickly redo that oh it's auto populating tk joins the fray i don't know who this person is but they just said cool ranch or bus i don't i i don't know you tk uh <laughs> but <laughs> come on cool ranch really um cool ranch are extremely popular with um my friends as well really? yeah i i'm i'm not am i a gamer i i'm not a huge fan of doritos what what not at all i like regular plain old nacho chip chips with salsa yeah so do i but like those aren't doritos no. <laughs> i'm i'm more of a sun chip person Ah, yeah, I like sun chip, stuff. like a picnic in the park sun chip. Person. Yes, yes. Yeah, those those wavy, <laughs> yes. even your hair is kind of like a sun chip. <laughs> <It> <laughs> <is>. <laughs> yeah, like those curls in your hair are kind of like the sun chip waves. You just went to the, <laughs> you went to the beautician, you're like, give me, give me the sun chip. <laughs> I got you. Uh, yeah, I love Doritos. For the longest time, I thought, I thought all nacho, I thought nacho cheese, was the default Dorito and everything else had a name, but nacho cheese. Like I just, I thought those were called Doritos and then everything else was <laughs> Doritos Cool Ranch and then Doritos whatever. I don't know. Anyways, enough <laughs> of Dorito talk. I could talk about this on my podcast. <laughs> All right. So we have Twitch and loves their cuisine. Here, but is often prepared with fiery cheese, nacho chips. Um, so now we've got this handout. So now we can just show it to the players because let's say it's important for them to know it right now. And you press show players and now it's not going to show you what it does for them, but it just popped up on their screen for them. Like right in front of them. Yep, it's right there. It popped (laughs) out. It's there. (laughs) Yeah, then you can show them. You can show them. (laughs) Get them to stop complaining. (laughs) Then they'll see. Uh, (laughs) And they'll know you're in charge. Uh, People do, here's the thing. This is what my handouts look like, right? So like my handouts look like, okay, here, here's a line and a header and mm-hmm. off you go, guys. Man, sometimes you go on Reddit and you see what people make out of these and they're just beautiful. Mm-hmm. They're like beautiful works of art. They are. And I'm just like, I, I need to work like that. I need to work harder. My players deserve more than me. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, um, <laughs> yeah, my players get stick drawings that I put a lot of effort in. Maybe one day I will show all of you 
a beautiful, beautiful drawing I did of a town once. Of uh, just with like with a pen tool or yeah, uh, it's probably not very good. It's great. I'm already putting out. There. I'm already putting out there. The, the thing is, I'm really spoiled with the pre-made modules on Roll20. Yes. That's really what it is. Yeah, it is. Because there's a team that makes these books to convert them, and they do such a good job. Like, they go through the artwork, and they, like, cut out stuff in Photoshop, and they, like, make perfect tokens. They make all those tokens that we see. And I'm like, I cannot, I'm not going to, like, you guys aren't going to meet this guy. I know you. You want to hang out with the dog in the town and not hang out with the NPCs that I took time creating. So like, I'm not going to do that. Yeah. <laughs> well, at least someone loves my stick drawings. Yeah. Oh, one of your players is in the chat. That yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, but you can make them absolutely gorgeous, these. Um, especially when you can... Um, choose a file. Well, I, you don't need to see all my files. Um, yeah, I was, about, I was getting worried that you were going to click that button. I did I was for just like... a second <laughs> because I do have a map that I, I made um, on Incarnate uh, that, that would work, but never mind. Um, so, okay. So, yeah. So, that that's a handout. Yeah. Yep. Um, you can make tables in them. Just like you can in any word processor. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of stuff that you can put inside there. Um, and it's really only a matter of like how you want to organize your campaign, right? Like you could essentially make one handout that is your entire game if you want mm -hmm. to, uh, or keep adding to it or let them add to it. Um, one of the things that we didn't talk about was uh, um, when we were talking about show your players something, mm -hmm. um, pressing shift and Z as a game master, uh, shows a larger version of that object to all the players. Mm. Uh, which I love, um, I love doing that. Cause sometimes I'll start explaining something in a game like, oh yeah, you just go to this thing over here. And they're like, what are you talking about? And it's so easy just to click it, hold down shift and Z. And it just like shows up on all their screens, like right in front of it. You know, it, it took me longer than I want to admit to understand what you meant when you said Z. Oh, did I say you said Z No, you Z? said Z, but I'm Canadian mm -hmm. and I say Z. Z? What's that? What's that mean? Z? <laughs> it's the letter Z. Z? Z. Z E D. And we don't say Z in Canada. Really? We Wait, why? We say Z. Are you messing with me? What is that? No, mean? I don't think I don't this, it's the letter Z, A to Z. It's not A to Z, it's A to Z. You do not say that. Yes, do we really do, 100%. That? Canada. <laughs> Everyone in the chat is like laughing. <laughs> Everyone in the chat is laughing right now, and I'm like, what? <laughs> Uh, yeah, so it took British me, thing, right? like, I had to British, think, I'm, that, you were I, like, I, control, shift Z, and I'm like, what is he talking about? What is I this have word? Never heard this. <laughs> Wait, what? What is wrong with your alphabet? Hold on, what happened to your alphabet? It's just, who, the, it's, who stole your Z? It's the old Z, English way of saying Z. Z stole your letter Z and replaced it with his own name? Is that what you're saying? Uh, oh, I've are you saying before. like Lord Z from Power Rangers? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> that's 100% the only explanation for this atrocity to your alphabet. No, uh, um, yeah, it's Z. So, anywho. <laughs> Wow, Zed's dead, baby. That's what I was waiting for. Yeah. <laughs> Whose motorcycle is this? <laughs> Not a motorcycle, it's a chopper. Sorry. <laughs> it's a little um hope that you play you guys. Um Yeah, cool. Where were we? I got distracted with that control Z thing. Yeah, um, um no, we finished up handouts, essentially. Yeah. Um now you can show so anything. So like let's say we have this anything that you have if you want to show it to your players for whatever reason you can you just click on it and you click show to players and it 
it's not currently showed. See, so when you try to click show to players, but it's not showed with everyone, you can show to everyone. Nice. Because I didn't go into edit and put it in people's journals there right away at first. So when I pressed it, that pop-up came up and it gave me the option to assign it to everyone. Yeah, which is it's nice. um, super nice, super easy. Mm -hmm. There is a, there was a question in the chat. Uh, is there a way to not have to assign token control every time? Um, I believe so. Um, uh, it's in the settings um, to make it uh, like, so a lot of people will set it up and then I'd have to find it. Sorry, I do not have it open right now. Um, My question is, what do you mean by every time? Every page up here, like on oh, your page toolbar? Oh, I see Because what you once mean. you have it connected to your, okay, so let me get rid of this. So if I go to Quizzles. I took the question as, is there a way to not have to assign token control every time? I took it as they want all tokens to be assigned to a player. Five pros, is that what you're asking right now? Is there a way to not have to assign token control every time? So you want every token you make to be assigned to this specific player in the future? I think maybe that's the question. Sorry, what were you gonna show, Victoria? Oh, we wait? I just, we have two quizzles here. But once you have, you go up to it might not work because we have two quizzles at this point and you go to edit on the character sheet yeah because we have two quizzles we have two tokens tied it's not going to work but what you would do is you press use selected token that you've tied to this character sheet so whenever you go to any um, map when you switch over to different places that your players can see the players, all they have to do is double click on their character, just drag, sorry, their character sheet over onto the screen and will turn into a token. Awesome. Yeah. That's super, that, that's a super easy way. Mm -hmm. That's like, yeah. What you just have um, to tie it in. It's just because we have two quizzles here. If I untie it to this to quizzle, just give this. No Z. <laughs> um, that was total typo, but you know, whatever. Um, I was going to be no name, but so yeah, now you select a token. We have the selected token. So now whenever I go into a, let's say, let's open this. Drag and drop. Oh, look, there's my token. <clears throat> there's also... Um in game settings, we can go to, and we can set these defaults, these token settings uh, for everyone, for all our tokens. So we don't have to do it individually. I think that's maybe what Five Pros was asking. Um, I'm not exactly sure, um, but I'm, in terms of assigning a token to everyone, I don't know if that's possible. Let's see. Um, Represents character. No, it you wouldn't be able to um yeah because unless you like you share select one person yeah i think the only way to do that is if you share gm status mm -hmm. uh with someone then they'll be able to do it uh and in that case that's in the uh, front page of your settings uh you just hover over your players in game and um you promote to a gm um so you know when you like log into your game, like right before you hit that launch game button, uh, if you look on the right hand side, there are um, icons, profile pictures of your players. If you highlight one, if you hover over one of them, there's a button that says promote to GM. Um, so mm -hmm. you could do something like that. Um, Victoria, can you go to that page actually? Yeah. And let's check out the settings, for the game settings of this game. Um, because we could show people where it's at so they can universally do this so they don't have to keep clicking every single token. Like um, like David had said, David Bastion had said in the chat, um, they like to uh, set the bar compact for all of them. Mm -hmm. um, 
Now, if you had already set up your game and then you kind of mess with some preferences and you're like, oh, I like how this one token looks. It looks better than all these other ones. I wish all the other ones would look like this. Um, this would be the place that you would apply it to everyone uh, moving forward. So yeah, go to settings and then game settings. Oh, wait, because then... I'm, because you're the creator of the game. I have to go, I went into the wrong one. I have to go into my test. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Go to a different game that you have. Yes. Settings so or, settings yeah. and then game settings. Yeah. And in the middle, like the fourth one down, uh, game default settings. And you'll notice that it looks a lot like those token settings that we mm -hmm. were messing with before. Um, and this is a great place just to set it, um, you know, set the standard for your game. And this is for newly created pages and tokens will take these settings. So things that you already have set up will not though. Um, mm -hmm. So there's a way to change that. Obviously you can change it or whatever uh, later, but this won't change the game that you had set up previously. This will just change things moving forward. Mm -hmm. um, so people use that all the time. Yeah. yeah. Good. I'm um, people in the chat are like, yeah, I didn't know about that. Yeah, awesome. I'm glad we could teach you something. Uh, yeah, this this little section um, of the game settings and stuff, like really oh, go I'll through go it and and right, like really look at it. Uh, we can do that another day when we have a little bit more time. But there's a lot of cool stuff inside. There's a lot of like little things that you can just like tweak your game with. Uh, you know, we talked about compendium sharing. We talked about compendium. Yeah, sharing, we right? did. Yeah, we talked about compendium sharing last time. Um, you know, the character vault, having people like import it. Sometimes I hear people, um, you know, players get on roll 20. Um, they're not going to be the game master on roll 20. This is, this happens all the time. They're not going to be the game master. Their game master said, get on roll 20, make an account so you can make a character. Um, and they're like, okay. And they get on and they're like, well, I need to make a character and they don't make a character in their game. They create a game and they make a character and they spend time on that. And then their GM sends them a link afterwards and they're like, hey, this is my game. And then they're like, well, how do I get my character into your new game that I just made? And that's a whole thing with like the character vault and importing and exporting. But they can find that access here um, mm -hmm. as well. Um, and yes, we did, did show how you can drag. Yeah. Uh, a spell into a character sheet from the compendium. And you are 100% correct. That was life changing. Uh, <laughs> like, I remember that. I was like, wait a minute, you can just drag things. You could also drag things to like the, um, the bar uh, down below uh, to make like a quick macro roller mm -hmm. um, too. So if it, that's something that you're always doing, like you're all, you're, your GM's always telling you to roll for perception or roll investigation or roll something uh, constantly. Um, you can just drag and drop that to the bottom so you don't have to keep opening up your character sheet. Um, yeah, those are Which is nice. great tips. I like yeah. to have my character sheet open all the time because I'm kind of vain and I like to look at how awesome my character is. Okay. Yeah, uh... just, just saying. <laughs> I know there has I've, to be other people who are like that. I, I like, yeah, I like having the, I, I don't know if because I'm vain. Well, I'm, it's not I because like I'm vain. The... I'm not really, um, but yeah, I, I just, I like yeah. looking at it. It's like whenever you walk past a reflective surface, you got to check yourself out. You know, like, it's like. like you're... Yeah, yeah, like walking I'm past a mirror. That's what you're like, like you're constantly walking past a mirror. Uh, someone asked question, does Roll20 have a way to keep players from talking over each other? Oh, like a way for the GM to mute all <laughs> oh, one person at a time. I feel your pain. Yeah. I, you can actually feel that question, right? <laughs> like, I, I, could, I felt it in my heart. I'm like, oh man, there's been so many times I'm just like, guys, come on. <laughs> like, yeah. What are we doing here? Um, not that no. I know of. I don't, I, I yeah. <laughs> the, I, the, <laughs> yeah, there's a, just. That, that's who, Tools too powerful. Uh, <laughs> let me uh, let me double check this. Let's see if there's like a little workaround that they can do with inputs and outputs. Um, uh, yeah, I'm looking I'm, at the 
Yeah, not for everyone. It would just be what what you're getting in your headphones. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> sorry. I wish I wish I had an answer for that. Yeah. I wish I wish that, you could click a see. Yeah. Session zero. Wait. Yeah. <laughs> Social that's what contract. You need in session zero. Yeah. What we really need is like one of those like Snapchat filters where like uh, a piece of tape just goes over their, <laughs> their mouth like that and then it mutes it. <laughs> that's the ticket I'm gonna put in for roll twenty uh, for next development update. Like uh uh. A, a red cake ticket. So 100% gonna that's going to be implemented for sure. <laughs> yeah. yeah, they're going to be like, oh, we need to get that in development right <laughs> away, Carla. <laughs> yeah. No, offhand, I don't I don't think there's any way, like, other than, con you, you really can't control um, other people in your game other than what comes in your headphones and what you see visually. Uh, the next case scenario is you kick them out of the game. I mean, I, I don't think there's, like, uh, little degrees of anything like that. Um, eat to surf. Uh, question: uh, Why do so many people use Discord for the audio stuff? Uh, they say that Roll Twenty has issues, but I've never seen it. Uh, were those issues in the past? That's a really good question. I could actually answer that. Um, so there's a couple different reasons for that. I I, I believe the the platform's getting better and better uh, each year. So there definitely are significant upgrades that we've been doing and we have done in the past. Uh, that being said. There's a lot of stuff that really does play a part in like online gaming, right? There's, uh, I don't know what the specific statistic is, but it's like more than half the country is using 2G. Uh, so a lot of people are not in air, have access to quicker internet. Um, obviously a dedicated software, like right now we're, we're using Zoom, right? Because it's a dedicated software that is supposed to do one thing, right? Mm -hmm. Like it is doing one thing and it does it well on our computer. Um, and like Roll20 does a million things and it's also doing video and voice chat. Uh, so is it the most efficient? It's the most efficient in terms of like you're also getting a VTT uh, in the same browser. Uh, but yeah, like there are different, there are definitely other options out there that will be more efficient or less efficient, depending on like a bunch of different, like, a bunch of different things that are out there, like computer speed, like uh, GPU, internet speed, like all those things or consistent internet yeah. speed, right? Because like a lot of times like people fluctuate as they go. Um, so all these things can definitely play a part in the quality that people have. Um, and yeah, like people move to Discord or people move to Zoom or Gchat or something like that. It's whatever you got to do to get your game going. Like Roll20, Roll20 doesn't really say like, hey, we're the end all be all of every single thing and we do it perfectly. Uh, a lot of times we, we will say that we are a tool set and we're trying to give you the most tools in one place. Um, if you have other tools, definitely use them like 100%. We use them um, and you know we're trying to make the platform better. Yeah. Um, let's see. Do, 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 do. No, be two, three, three. Question: Is the Roll Twenty Android app optimized for phone? It is not at at, at this point. Uh, there's been, I mean, I can't really discuss this right now uh, because I'm not on the development team. Um, I know that they are taking um, a lot of steps to getting, um, you know, tablet and in browser stuff better. Uh, the Android app is its separate little thing. Uh, other part in the company that like I don't know all the specifics about and I am really not at liberty to talk about those things right now. Uh, but I understand like, yeah, optimize for phone. Yes, it needs to get better. I 100% agree that it needs to be optimized. Um, especially the software will always be better at what it does. Yeah, the general use software, but it's good for Roll20. Exactly, Super TD says that. Um, Question, will Roll20 add a better in-game file manage system, sorting, mass deletion, and so on, both for journal and actual upload folder? Um, yeah, I think Roll20 is always getting better and always trying to do things and listen to people on the forum. If you have suggestions on things, on how they can get better, so a lot of times I'll hear things like, hey, can like make this better. Um, we want to know, they really, the development team really wants to know how to make things better and how people work on the different games. Uh, juggling a bunch of different types of gamers uh, in a bunch of, all over the world, right? Um, that play different games, not just Dungeons and Dragons, but like other games 
and trying to implement kind of what's the best overall for everyone leads to compromises, right? Like, um, and they're always trying to get better. So definitely go to the forums and post your suggestions for those uh, because our team is definitely on those forums every single day, reading, passing on those information um, and that stuff gets uploaded too. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. Mm-hmm. What else we got? I'm, answer- I'm answering all these questions today. You are. Uh, well, they're, they're all like back end questions that I can't answer. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Uh, <laughs> you have any tips or tricks for first-time GMs looking to use Roll20 for a campaign? Uh, we've talked about a bunch of tips yeah. in the last two things. My my favorite tip is uh, if you're brand new to Roll20, um, uh, chances are your, your players are very brand new to Roll20. Mm-hmm. That's kind of what this stream is for. Um, I highly recommend um, getting like showing them how to open up a character sheet and click the character sheet and leave that dice roller up on their page. Mm-hmm. Those are like the two main things. Every, and, and kind of setting the standard like, hey, we're, we're gonna learn this together. So if you wanna click stuff and it shows up in the chat, you know what I mean? Like if you're clicking stuff, it's gonna show up in the chat, that's cool. Like yeah. just making that known that we're all gonna learn together. Um, yeah. that's, that's mine. What's yours, Victoria? Oh, no, I'm a big fan of the let's learn this together and then just poking things to see what they do. Um, don't yeah. be afraid. You're not going to break it. Um, there, there are testers out there who do everything they possibly can to try to break things. Um, you're probably not going to. Uh, <laughs> probably not. You're not going to break yeah. it. Just click on it. Just see what happens. See what it does. Um, and then if, yeah, that, that's what my advice is, is don't be afraid to, to mess around. For sure. Um... Question. I think this might be our last one. Uh, David asks, question, has Roll20 considered actively implementing safety tools in each game? Uh, I've created my own, but it would be neat if uh, it was an add-on or opt-in tool. Um, yeah, we have. Uh, that's something that we're actively discussing, actually, uh, behind the scenes um, recently, actually, uh, and how to implement that and get the whole team involved uh, and the community uh, behind it. Mm-hmm. It's definitely something that is on our plate in you know, we, we want to tackle. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'd love sure. it. I'd, I'd yeah. use it all the time. Because right now, um, in my own games, I use the traffic light system, red, yellow, green. Mm. Um, yeah. Red being stop, I'm uncomfortable, yellow meaning we're approaching discomfort, let's fail stuff. Mm. And then green being like, oh, no, I'm fine. I'm just role playing. Like, <laughs> I'm just into this. Yep. Um, but like, right now, we're just grabbing whatever we see that happens to be one of those colors around us and showing it on our cameras. Mm, okay. um, that's something that we do. Um, and just, yeah. But the, um, one of the, it'd be nice to have something things, like that in, this, in the system. I think it's great. I would love to see it in the system. I would also love to see, you know, and this is just me talking. This is me talking as Carlos, not me talking as someone like an ambassador of Roll20. Uh, I would love to, like, because so, so many people stream, right? Because it's not only just the players, Uh, And we're not going to get into uh, like that much uh, about safety tools and stuff. That's a whole episode that we're going to devote to safety tools. Um, But I would love to like, there is another player at the table and that's the audience. Yeah. Um, And I think we need to acknowledge that too. A lot of these games are being played in front of an audience. Uh, So I would love to see something um, like that for the audience that's watching. Uh, Like, so something that is, you know, both, um, you know, person to person and person to audience, something that would be, you know, and these are all opt-in, obviously opt-in. We, we're not forcing anyone to like, you know, run a game this way or run it that way. But um, yeah, I, I would love to see stuff like that for sure. Mm-hmm. All right. Yeah, I'd love these. I love doing this with you, Victoria. Oh, really thank great. you. I enjoy doing yeah. it too. This is a nice a hour. Fun, We've already done an hour. Like, I know. Crazy. I love it. Like, it's so, <laughs> it's so fun. It's the highlight of my day. I love it. Uh, Love just jumping in and like we don't and this is one of the only things that like I don't really overthink. I overthink a lot of stuff in my life. And I'm just like, yeah, I'm gonna get on, I'm gonna get on stream. The people in the chat are always really nice. Uh they're always super helpful. Uh and you always take care of me on stream. So I want to thank you for that. So yeah, it's great. Well, I thanks. That. I have fun. Sure, yeah. Um next week we'll be going over pages and toolbars. So the mm. toolbar, so that's over here. Well, you probably can't see it on OBS because I'd have to move it. There we go. Um, that's wrong screen. 
that's here, your toolbar. So we'll go over all, everything here on the toolbar, how to use it effectively and efficiently. And yeah, that'll be next week. Yeah. Same time. Pages, I yeah. I love thinking of pages. I think pages are great. Uh, I would. I wish they were called boards, right? Like uh, they're boards. Uh, I want to put pages in the journal. Uh, that's my one gripe about about pages. But I love pages because we, you, you can set up the different boards in your game. Mm -hmm. um, the, people always have questions on them about how they set up their board, how they like put up tiles, how they do the grid, stuff like that. So if you guys are around for next week, that's what we're going to be talking about. All right. Well, thank you, everyone, for watching. Yeah, thanks, everyone. I'll see you next time. Bye.